Hi there, welcome back to the third lesson. Um, this one I'll be showing you where to get hold of your free GIS data to create your maps in within QGIS. Uh, in my opinion, the best one is the natural earth data. So let's go to Google and download natural earth. Now you've got three options here. You've got the small scale data, the medium scale and the large scale. Um, to be perfectly honest, it's only really worth downloading the large scale. It gives you the most flexibility because it's the most detailed um, allows you to zoom in much greater um, distance and still have a decent um, amount of detail in your map. So let's go to cultural, which will be all of the sort of admin data, which will be the countries and the state boundaries and all of the railroads and roads and things like that. So you could download each one of these as you need them, um, but to be perfectly honest, it's easier just to download the whole lot in one go. It's a large download, it's 200 meg, but it's worth the wait. So I, I recommend you do that and just download everything, then you've got it for when you need it. Um, next, go to physical, and same thing applies here. You've got the various options. You can download them individually, or like I said before, you can just download them all and then have them on your machine. So once you've downloaded them and then uh, unzip them, you're basically presented with two folders, the cultural and the physical. Um, if you open up the cultural, you'll see an awful lot of files, as you'd expect, 238 of them, as you can see here. Um, what I find easiest is just to sort them into folders. So I've got um, them sorted in mine. The ones that I use the most, I've put in separate folders at the top, so they're easy to get to. And all of these other ones, which I don't use or I might need in the future, they're still there but it's easier if the ones you use the most are all in separate folders. So let's get started on getting them into QGIS. Um, the country polygon ones comes with two options, straight countries ones and straight countries with lakes. Basically that means the country coastline has been cut to show the lakes. So I tend to use that. So let's go to QGIS. And to get the file in, you literally just click drag it over and drop it in the window and there you go instantly dropped in as you can see these are the lakes have been added in so you don't have to add a separate layer for lakes um, obviously it doesn't have every single lake on there so you for the smaller lakes you're best dragging in the um, the lakes layer as well um, this projection is the wgs84 it's um, pretty standard for a, um, a world map um, it shows things in quite good proportion, but I find it has a sort of stretched feel. Um, the best way to um, change it is very simple. You just hit Command, Shift and P, which brings up your project. So to change the projection, you just go to CRS. And as you can see, this button is already checked. Now remember in our preferences, we set the CRS transformation on the fly to be on by default. So it just saves you checking this button every single time you do a new job. Um, here's all of the different types of projections you could use. There are literally thousands of them. Um, but ones people are most familiar with, probably from using Google Maps all the time, is the Google, Google, not Goggle, is the Google Mercator projection. So select that and OK it. And you'll see your map change into what is the projection you're used to seeing. Um, obviously, it's not great for um, representation of area for a map, um, but it's good for more sort of individual country level um, locator maps. So um, that's just a very quick overview of Natural Earth. Um, I'm going to go into more detail the various layers in the next lesson. 